down to the inside, can't make the move. Jeff Gordon is the 2005 Daytona 500 champion. Jeff Gordon, three victories so far this year, including the Daytona, getting him $3 million in earnings this year and more than $65 million total on his career. That is seven times the career winnings of Morgan Shepard. His one finish this year earned him less than $100,000. We say good evening to David Poole, the motorsports writer for the Charlotte Observer, who is at Darlington. Uh, David, uh, you were telling me a moment ago that the rain washed out the practice today, so we'll try and get to it on Friday. But uh, what's the math for Morgan Shepard? Is he's not raced in two months? What does he have to do to uh, to qualify? Uh, under the rules of NASCAR this year, there are 35 teams guaranteed spots in each race. So that leaves basically eight spots for the rest of the cars. There are 47 here, so the 12 guys that are not in that top 35. Uh, eight of those will qualify for the race, which means Morgan has to be you know, has to beat four guys to make the race here in qualifying on Friday. Now, if qualifying is rained out, then he's at the mercy of the rule book, and, and that's that's kind of a Byzantine formula. And I, but in, this, in his situation, I'm not I'm pretty sure he would not make it. How many Morgan Shepherds are out there, guys like that at the fringe, just scraping by? You know, very few anymore. I mean, to me, the best analogy I can think of is. It, it, what he's trying to do is like trying to sail around the world by using dead reckoning. You know, he basically has doesn't have the technology or the, anything near the, the resources that he needs to be able to compete on an even footing. And there are only a handful of guys that, that, that can do that, that are trying to do that. And, and, you know, this new system they've got where they're guaranteeing 35 guys spots uh, makes it a little bit more difficult. Last year, you could show up and if another guy was out of provisionals or the way the rules work, you could slip into races, into fields, uh, a little bit easier than you can this year. This year, when you're not in that top 35, you really have to go out there and earn your way in. Now he, he is in his 60s. We hear this increasingly described, the next L Cup, the top rank of NASCAR racing, as a young man sport. Why is that? Well, the answer, the, 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 the statistics are staggering. The, of the last 95 races in the next Cup series, only seven have been won by drivers who have, who have reached their 40th birthday. You know, Morgan is 63. Uh, in 2064 NASCAR races that I can tell you how old the winner was, all but 11 in the sports history, only 10 have been won by guys who were 50 and older, and Harry Gant won eight of those. Morgan Shepard and Bobby Allison were the other two. So it is very much a young man's game, and it's getting younger. The average age of a Winston Cup, excuse me, the next Cup Cup race winner uh, since the beginning of the 2003 season is barely over the age of 31 years old. And that's half Morgan's age. Are there enough competitive teams and cars week to week to fill out the grid so that anybody, anybody on the grid has a shot to win? You mentioned the golf and technology. What is that golf like? Well, there are probably 20 to 25 teams that have a chance to win on a regular basis. And that, 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 that's not 25 different corners. That's counting the three or four teams for Ralph Racing, the several teams for Hendrick Motorsports. All of the, the major multi-car teams, it counts all of their teams as separate cars. There are probably 20 to 25 that can win on a regular basis, and another maybe 5 or 10 that could, on a given track, on a given day, pull off a win. Beyond that, there are guys that are just out here who are doing their, you know, trying to develop into better race teams and, and just try to get good, solid, maybe top 10 occasionally, and more often than not, top 20 mm -hmm. finishes. It, it's deeper than it ever has been, Bob. I mean, you know, it, 25 years ago, there might have been seven to ten teams that could win on a, on a given week, but uh, it's it's certainly not. It's it is a meritocracy in many ways. I mean, you know, if you're good enough to get the money, it's because you're good enough to compete. And it it sort of becomes a catch-22 if you're yeah. a guy like Morgan. In order to get more attention, you have to compete better. Well, to compete better, you have to get more attention so you can get more resources. And, and he, just becomes, he's hoping you know, just to qualify for his second race of the year. Exactly. David Poole, exactly. Exactly. it's a vicious cycle. Appreciate your time. Thanks, David, for joining us again. We appreciate it. On ESPN.com, search OTL Nightly. You send us email. And to sign up for our daily program alert. To make your opinion heard on the air, our toll-free voicemail is 866-ESPN-OTL.